This one factor doubles your risk of getting prostate cancer. I'll explain. Did you know that other than skin cancer, prostate cancer is the most common cancer in American men? Currently in 2021, the American Cancer Society estimates 250,000 new cases of prostate cancer and over 34,000 deaths from prostate cancer. So are you at risk? What age should you be screening for prostate cancer? Is it genetic? Do women have a prostate? Maybe you're wondering where the prostate is even located in the body. Today, we're breaking down all the crucial facts that you definitely need to know about prostate cancer. My name is Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an ER doc that deals with every medical situation that you can think of. I created this channel to answer the medical questions that I get from people every single day. If you find this video helpful, please smack that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you learn when I post a new video. Prostate cancer. It sounds super scary, and it can be for sure, but there are six early factors and warning signs that you should be looking out for when it comes down to this deadly disease. Plus, we'll go over who's at increased risk of getting prostate cancer. But first things first, what is a prostate? In men, the prostate is a walnut-sized gland located just below the bladder in front of the rectum surrounding the urethra, the tube that carries urine out of the bladder. The prostate gland produces and stores fluid that helps make semen. Prostate cancer is marked by an uncontrolled or malignant growth of cells in the prostate gland. What causes it? It's unfortunately a bit unclear at the moment what causes prostate cancer, but researchers are studying certain risk factors to determine what exactly contributes to prostate cells developing into cancer. As we know already, cancer is a disease in which some of the body's cells grow uncontrollably and spread to other parts of the body, and prostate cancer is no exception. It begins when cells in the prostate develop changes in their DNA, and these abnormal cells continue to replicate, killing off other healthier cells. So who is at risk for prostate cancer. It should be noted that certain men are at higher risk than others for prostate cancer, which may affect when they should start being screened. The most common risk factor is age. The older a man is, the greater the chance of getting prostate cancer. Also, African American men are twice as likely to develop the disease. Additionally, prostate cancer seems to run in some families, which suggests that there may be a genetic factor going on. Having a father or a brother with prostate cancer more than doubles a man's risk for developing this disease. Although it is rare in men younger than 40, about 6 in 10 cases of prostate cancer are found in men older than 65. But if your family has a history of it, you should definitely start your screenings younger. PSA screenings can start as early as 40 years old depending on your family history of cancer. Lastly, obesity and high fat diets also may play a role in the disease. Do women have a prostate and can they get prostate cancer? Well. You may have heard people talk about the female prostate gland. Instead, the female prostate is often used to refer to small glands on the front side of the vagina and corresponding ducts, sometimes called Skeen's glands or Skeen's ducts. Cancer of the female prostate is rare. One older study estimates that cancer of the Skeen's glands accounts for 0.003% of cancers in the female urogenital tract. What are the symptoms of prostate cancer? Well, there are six warning signs you should be looking out for. Number one, a painful or burning sensation during urination or ejaculation. Number two, frequent urination, particularly at night. Number three, difficulty stopping or starting urination. Number four, sudden erectile dysfunction. Number five, blood in the urine or semen. And number six, bone pain. It's also important to note that in some cases, prostate cancer has no symptoms. It's also best not to internet search or web WebMD self-diagnose yourself. Many of these symptoms are also present in many men who have other conditions altogether and not prostate cancer. So it's always best to discuss them with a doctor before jumping to any conclusions. And for the big question, can prostate cancer be prevented? There are no clear prevention strategies for prostate cancer. There is some conflicting evidence that a healthy diet composed of low-fat vegetables and fruits may help reduce the risk of prostate cancer. It is also just critical in maintaining good health and preventing disease in general. Routine screening with a PSA blood test and physical exam is important to detect prostate cancer at an early stage. Prostate cancer is a risk for all men as they age, but if it's caught and treated early, the outlook is generally very good. So as you get older, be sure to have 
open conversations with your doctor about your risk. And it's super important to remember, if it runs in your family, you will definitely want to start the routine screenings much younger. All right, that's been a quick prostate cancer breakdown with me, Dr. Wagner. Have you ever got a screening test for prostate cancer? Let me know in the comments, and also let me know if there are any other medical questions that you'd like me to answer. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, please make sure you subscribe and turn your bell notifications on. When you do that and you hit that like button, you let YouTube know that you'd like to see more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and stay healthy, my friends.